Whilst gazing in the Serengeti, a gazelle listens carefully for signs of danger. Any unexpected noise or threatening shadow could indicate a stalking leopard, and lightning-fast reactions might make the difference between life and death. The gazelle's survival relies on its sensing systems and ability to interpret danger cues with rapid and appropriate responses. This instinctive behavior is primarily controlled by the involuntary autonomic nervous system, comprising the parasympathetic and sympathetic nerves. Activation of the sympathetic nervous system causes an instant increased heart and respiratory rate, priming muscles with richly oxygenated blood, preparing the conditions for fight or flight. This rapidly expends precious energy reserves that must then be replenished. This is achieved by switching to parasympathetic dominance, which balances the sympathetic system by promoting rest, digestion, and well-being. The parasympathetic system controls sympathetic activation in conjunction with information carried by the vagus nerve. This cranial nerve has branches that relay both to and from the heart, lungs, abdominal organs, ear, and facial muscles. Think of the vagus as an information superhighway, gathering and relaying messages from the internal and external sense organs to the brain, where subconscious decisions are made whether to suppress or activate the sympathetic response. The sympathetic fight or flight reflex is constantly primed to rapidly respond to danger signals. This state is suppressed by the parasympathetic system. When conditions are interpreted as safe, the vagus break is engaged to restrain the ever-ready sympathetic reflex. Any signal perceived as danger releases the vagus break, freeing the sympathetic response to activate. If the signal is recognized as just a rustle in the breeze, the vagus break rapidly re-engages, allowing a period of calm to continue. If perceived as life-threatening, the vagus break will fully disengage, allowing sympathetic dominance to engage with the energy-consuming fight-or-flight response. If the danger passes, the vagus break will re-engage, restoring a state of restfulness, energy replenishment, and recovery. In humans, the gazelle's anxiety about predators has been replaced by the stress of modern life. This sets the scene for abnormally prolonged and energy-sapping sympathetic activation, with diminished time for the parasympathetic dominance required for recovery. Parasympathetic and sympathetic imbalance is recognized as a significant factor contributing to both psychological and physical illness. In the clinical setting, assessment of autonomic balance has been difficult to measure. What if there was an objective measure of sympathetic and parasympathetic balance. The phenomenon known as heart rate variability, HRV, provides a window to these opposing systems. HRV reflects subtle changes in the duration of single heartbeats during inhalation and exhalation. This is regulated by vagus nerve connections to the heart. During inhalation, the vagus break is briefly released, allowing a sympathetic increase in heart rate and decreasing the duration between each heartbeat. During exhalation, the vagus re-engages, slowing the heart rate and increasing the duration between each beat of the heart. Heart rate variability is normal and indicates autonomic balance and a state of inner balance and well-being. Stress and anxiety disengages the vagus break, resulting in sympathetic dominance and reduced HRV, setting the scene for ill health, whilst calm and well-being is characterized by a normal or increased HRV. Continuous three-day monitoring of the HRV is now possible using a lightweight, wearable device, Bodyguard 2. It takes only a few seconds to fasten the device to the body and then measurements are recorded automatically. This provides a profile of the ebb and flow of parasympathetic and sympathetic dominance, as well as the events that affect well-being and performance. This profile identifies imbalance and lifestyle adjustments that might favorably influence health and well-being. Well-being and lifestyle assessment using Bodyguard 2 is now available in the private patient unit at the Royal Free London and Hadley Wood Hospital.